So let me go ahead and write down the definition of matrix multiplication, and then we'll do some examples. We will let A equal that matrix A sub I J, B, M by P. So this is an M by P, maybe three by two. Let B be the I J th B, B, P by N. So A is M by P, B is P by N. Notice that the number of columns of the matrix A is equal to the number of rows of matrix B. That's going to be very, very important. Then A B is the M by N matrix. C equals C sub I J such that the I Jth entry of C is equal to row sub I of A, in other words, the Ith row of A, dotted with the jth column of B. So let's take a look at the definition again. A is a matrix A sub I J. It is M by P. B is a matrix B sub I J is P by N. When I multiply those two matrices, the essentially what happens is that the column of the first matrix, the one on the left, cancels the column, uh, cancels the row of the matrix on the right, and what you end up with is a matrix which is M by N. And that matrix is such that the I Jth entry is equal to the Ith row of A dotted with the Jth column of B. That's why this P and this P have to be the same. So in order to multiply two matrices, let's write this one out specifically. Okay. In order to multiply two matrices, the number of columns of the first must equal the number of rows of the second. And that's what this says. M by P, P by N. The number of columns of the first has to equal the number of rows. That's the only way that matrix multiplication is defined. And what we mean when we say is defined means if they're not the same, you can't do the multiplication. That's what defined means. It's the only way that you can do it is if that's the case. Okay. Let's see what we've got. So, for example, if I have a 2 by 3 matrix and I want to multiply it by a 3 by 2 matrix, yes, I can do that because the number of columns of the first one is equal to the number of columns of the second one, and essentially they go away. What I'm left with is a final matrix, which is 2 by 2. It's kind of interesting. Now notice, if I reverse them, and if I did a 3 by 2 matrix, and if I multiplied that by a 3 by 2 matrix, I'm sorry, a 2 by 3, now it is defined, the number of columns of the first equals the number of rows of the second, so now I end up with a 3 by 3 matrix. Okay, So these are all defined. That'll work. Uh, let's see, 2 by 3, 3 by 2, 3 by 2, 2 by 3. So notice what's happened here. Take a quick look. I have a 2 by 3 times a 3 by 2 gives me a 2 by 2. Uh, if I switch these, a 3 by 2 by a 2 by 3, all I've done is switch them. I get a 3 by 3. A 3 by 3 and a 2 by 2 are not the same. So, in general, not only 
do the dimensions not match, it, it, it won't work. AB is not equal to BA. That's the take-home lesson for this. Matrix multiplication does not commute. AB does not equal BA. And we'll actually do an example later on where we can actually do AB and BA, but they end up being completely different uh, matrices. Okay, so let's do some examples. Let's let A equal to 1, 2, minus 1, 3, 1, 4. When doing mul matrix multiplication, go very, very slowly and go systematically. A lot of arithmetic, lots of room for mistake. Minus 2, 5, 4, negative 3, 2, 1. Okay, so we said that the ijth entry is equal to the ith row of A times the jth column of B. Well, we're looking at here a, actually let me use black, this is a 2 by 3, 2 by 3 matrix, and this is a 3 by 2. So yes, it is defined because this 3 and this 3 are the same, so we should end up with a 2 by 2 matrix. Okay. Let's go ahead and put a little thing here for our 2 by 2 matrix. Now, for our this, the first row, first column, this entry, it's going to equal the first row of A dotted with the first column of B. So it's going to be that row and that column. So I take 1 times minus 2. So let me actually write. Uh, over here, let's call this the, so now we're doing the A11 entry, this one right up here. A11 entry equals 1 times a minus 2, which is minus 2, 2 times 4, which is 8, minus 1 times 2, minus 2, so minus 2, minus 2, plus 8, answer should be 4, so 4 goes there. Now let's do this entry, which is the first row, second column. Well, the first row, second column, means I take the dot product of the first row of A and the second column. So A12 entry is equal to 1 times 5, which is 5, 2 times negative 3, which is negative 6, minus 1 times 1, which is minus 1. Let me make this. Let's try this again without these little extra lines. 1 times 5 is 5, 2 times minus 3 is minus 6, minus 1 times 1, minus 1. So 5 minus 6 is minus 1, is this? minus 2. So this becomes minus 2. Now we're going to go to the second row, first column, which means we do second row, first column. This is A, 2, 1. 3 times minus 2 is minus 6, 1 times 4 is 4, 4 times 2 is 8, so 8 plus 4 is 12, 12 minus 6 is 6, so this entry is 6. And now we have our last entry, which is the 2, 2. So the 2, 2 entry, second row, second column, which means we dot product the second row with the second column. Second row of A, second column of B. 3 times 5 is 15. One times minus 3 is minus 3, 4 times, oops, that's nice. Four times, you know, is that a minus 1? I don't even, I don't even know. No, that's 1. 4 times 1 is 4, so we get 15 plus 4, which is 19, 19 minus 3 is 16, so this entry is 16. So the product, so AB is equal to 4 minus 2, 6, 16. 2 by 3 matrix multiplied by a 3 by 2 matrix gives us a 2 by 2 matrix, and we get that by this row, this column, this row, this column, and then this row, this column, this row, this column. That's all you're doing, rows and columns. 
Now you know why I arranged it. Remember a little bit back when we did dot product, I arranged it, the first one horizontally and the other one vertically? This is the reason why. Because when we multiply, we're doing this times that, this times that, this times that. We can move one this way, one this way. It seems sort of, it's a, it's a way of keep things um, separate. As one hand, one finger moves across a row, the other sh finger should move down a column, as opposed to going this way or this way. Okay.